In the heart of New York City, a seemingly mundane taxi ride transforms into a riveting exploration of human connection and societal stereotypes in Christy Hall's debut film, Daddy-O. The film, set almost entirely within the confines of a yellow cab, stars Dakota Johnson and Scene Penn, whose performances breathe life into a narrative that challenges our expectations of gender dynamics and personal revelations. The story kicks off with a blonde woman, played by Dakota Johnson, arriving at JFK Airport. Her trip, neither for business nor pleasure, sets the stage for an unexpected journey. She hops into a yellow cab driven by Clark, portrayed by Seen Penn, marking the beginning of a 90-minute ride that delves deep into the complexities of human interaction. From the outset, the film establishes a palpable tension, largely due to Penn's casting. Known for his intense and often aggressive roles, Penn's presence immediately raises questions about the nature of his character's intentions. Will Clark, on his last fare of the night, respect his passenger, or will he succumb to predatory instincts? As the cab weaves through the city, Clark engages Johnson's character in a probing conversation. He fancies himself an expert on human nature, attempting to deduce her life story from minimal clues. Johnson's character, wary and guarded, resists sharing personal details, revealing only that she hails from a small town in Oklahoma. This revelation surprises Clark, who perceives her as more worldly. The dynamic between the two characters is further complicated by a series of lewd text messages Johnson's character receives from an unseen lover, referred to as Daddy. This third, unseen character adds a layer of tension and intrigue, as Johnson's character navigates the demands of her lover while engaging in a flirtatious game with Clark. Throughout the ride, the conversation oscillates between personal revelations and broader societal observations. Clark admits to multiple marriages and infidelities, sharing his cynical views on the differences between men and women. These broad generalizations are meant to provoke both Johnson's character and the audience, challenging preconceived notions about gender and relationships. As the taxi inches through traffic, the physical and emotional distance between the characters narrows. Clark slides open the partition window, allowing for a more intimate exchange. Johnson's character begins to learn more about her interrogator, while Clark continues to press her with questions acting like a detective and therapist rolled into one. The film's dialogue is sharp and thought-provoking, with each character trying to destigalize the other. They keep score, Colleen points each time one of them says something that catches the other off guard. This verbal sparring adds a layer of suspense as the audience is left wondering who will gain the upper hand. Despite the film's confined setting, cinematographer Feedin Papamichael ensures that Daddy-O is visually engaging. The use of light and reflections, particularly in the rearview mirror, adds depth to the characters' interactions. Composer Dickon Hinchliffe's subdued piano score complements the film's tone, enhancing the emotional weight of the dialogue. As the taxi nears its destination, the conversation takes deeply personal turns. Clark's theories about love and infidelity are tested against the backdrop of Johnson's character's own experiences. The film cleverly circles back to earlier themes such as tips, handshakes, and the distinction between truth and falsehood, tying them into the character's final revelations. Daddy-O is designed to spark conversation, both within the film and among its audience. It challenges stereotypes and explores the nuances of human connection, all within the seemingly mundane setting of a taxi ride. The film's strength lies in its ability to keep viewers engaged, despite its limited location and small cast. While the film's premise might not sound cinematic enough to justify a trip to the theater, the big screen experience enhances its impact. The collective discomfort and nervous laughter of a theater audience add to the film's tension, making the ride from JFK to Midtown feel like a journey through the complexities of human nature. In the end, Daddy-O covers a lot of ground in its 90-minute runtime. It's a film that defies expectations, using a simple setting to explore profound themes. Dakota Johnson and Scene Penn deliver performances that elevate the material, making Daddy-O a compelling watch for anyone interested in the intricacies of human relationships. Chips.